Yes, everything becomes beginning with the experiment. We don't know what to do, what not to do, but we have to experiment. We go this way, we go that way, we go that way, and find out which is suitable for us. That is called an experiment. That is called a science. See, truth begins with scientific temper. You know what is scientific temper? Experimentation. Not belief. Not blind belief. You experiment. If somebody said that you go this way, you go that way and, and find, check out what is there. Okay. Then you come back and say, hey, I went there, but you, I didn't find that place proper. So you have experimented. Then that person says, okay, go this way, alternate way. You go the alternate way. This is called experimentation. That is called a scientific temper. You check out every fact. You check out every guidance, practically. When you do experimentation, then experience will happen. Okay, this way is not good, this way is good. Okay, I give you an experiment. If you are eating meat, don't eat meat for the next 40 days and tell me what is happening. Then you must not eat meat for the next 40 days and then come back and me. No, 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 I missed my meat. Okay, then, then go for meat again. I don't like eating tomatoes and potatoes. I want only my chickens and muttons. Okay, do that. But after 40 days, if you come back, they say, I like my potatoes and tomatoes now. I don't want chicken and mutton. Then change your habit. So that is an experience. I don't want to do meditation, somebody says. Okay, experiment as meditation there. Huh? Yeah. Why don't you experiment? What prevents you from experimentation? I don't have scientific temper. So, those who have scientific temper always go for experimentation. And those who go for experimentation will have experiences. This way or that way. Whichever way. But you first of all experience it. 